Hello there, Vic Benedict here. We're playing Uncharted 1 on Brutal Difficulty. This is the second of 22 chapters. It is entitled The Search for El Dorado. So, um, this chapter has no combat in it. The next chapter will have combat. Um, I am, um, I'm reduxing this guide. If you remember, I did this, um, this trilogy back in 2015 and 2016 and um, uh, one of my main motivations for doing the um, the Redux project for this game is um, uh, graphically um, the capture card that I was using last time was only able to um, capture the footage and um, display and capture the footage at 30 frames per second um, which is um, uh, you know, very unfortunate because um, Blue Point Studios uh, did a fantastic job putting this game um, at twice the frame rate, and uh, from what I understand, uh, 1080p. So um, the footage that you're seeing is is being natively captured at 1080p 60, and it's also being rendered at those same settings. Um, I've also got the um, the quality sliders at the absolute maximum for the actual capture so um, that was just an effort that I made to um, to protect the footage from deterioration on YouTube as much as I possibly could so um, on this run you won't see any glinting treasures anywhere because I, I've already collected all 61 of, uh, of 61 treasures um, to unlock this pirate skin, it's uh, it's 20 treasures that you need to obtain. Um, but since I have to redo the campaign to unlock Brutal on each of these games, um, I figured that I might as well go get all the um, all the collectibles too. So I just I really I really find this game fun to play. It's very fun. Um, It's just absolutely gorgeous too. And the last time I did this project, um, it was at a it was at a bad time when my, my when my computer broke down, and I was in the process of uh, of getting a new computer, and um, uh, the quality was just really bad, very bad quality. So um, it's it's quite a shame that these games are falling out of style. That is to say. Um, any, pretty much any game that's in third person, it's it's quite rare when when a third person game comes out these days, and uh, I'm not just saying that hyperbolically. There, I, I truly mean that. Um, it's just it's just a fact. For some reason, third person games have fallen out of style, and that's unfortunate for somebody who doesn't like first person games and who doesn't play them. So. Um, and I, I don't I, I really don't mind coming back to these projects and redoing them because I love playing these games they're fun very fun and and quite challenging too so um, um, I, I, I personally I cannot um, I cannot speak to whether they altered crushing difficulty um, Part of me thinks that they did, but I think that's wrong actually because um, when you play Brutal and you know what Brutal's all about, you fall into the um, to the mistake of, of thinking that crushing is is very easy when when what you're really doing is you're you're thinking of it in terms of how difficult Brutal is. So I think that there's a there's a, a fallacy that that comes into one's mind. Um, and, and you never know. Maybe they did alter it a little bit. Crushing, that is. I, I don't know. I personally don't know. Um, all I know is that crushing is quite easy um, to unlock, to, to beat it and unlock. It was it was very simple to uh, to finish crushing and unlock brutal. Um, that's not to say I didn't die. You know, I died 20, 30 times. I'm not sure. I died a lot. Um, but on Brutal, it's, it's going to be like 10 times that for the amount of deaths. That's how difficult it is. Um, and quite honestly, um, I, I don't want to sound, you know, that, um, you know, I'm, I'm... 
um, I, I don't want to sound like um, that I'm telling you that this game is, 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 is easy when it's not. It, it really isn't, but you have to understand that I've gone through Brutal twice now, so it isn't the, um, the seemingly um, impossible ordeal that I thought it was before I had ever beat it. So you have to realize that that I don't um, that I don't find it ch as challenging as I found it before. But what you're going to be in for if you haven't played or defeated this difficulty is um, is a hell of a time trying to do it because you have to play the game in a very specific way in order to win, and that pretty much means that you cannot aim. There's no aiming allowed, and what I mean by that is if you try to aim and, and line up your shot in most cases you're gonna get killed because it takes time to do that it takes uh, time to be precise and in that time um, you're going to be getting killed so anyway um, this puzzle over here the solution for it is um, top right bottom left top left bottom right so if you go into that order you don't even need to consult the journal the only reason I pulled up the journal right over there was to get it out of the way but um, lo and behold it keep it kept coming up so I just chose to ignore it um, I really um, I really uh, like when I think of how I like my Uncharted games I like them like this I like them um, um, basically mostly like the second and third in the first games I like them like this I don't um, every time I think about Uncharted 4 and the Lost Legacy um, like an inner hatred rises in me I just I really I really hate it I hate how they changed it so much and if you're unaware of what I'm talking about what they did was they um, they they said that you could do it either way, like stealth or, or guns blazing, but on, on crushing difficulty, if if they're promoting stealth, you have a very difficult time surviving if you do guns blazing, and it's almost like you're penalized for doing it. So, um, the way I like Uncharted games is, you go to an area and you start fighting, or you go to an area, you kill a few guys, that's it, and then you do the battle and you aren't penalized so harshly. Um, because in, in, in 1 through 3, it's, um, well, particularly the third game. The, the third game, you can clear rooms with stealth, but the first two games, you can't, pretty much. There might be a couple that you can in the second game, but, but this game is not like that at all. Um, I also really like this game because there aren't any puzzles hardly. There's like two puzzles, maybe three. But um, um so anyway, guys, uh, this is January. Uh, February will be Uncharted Two. This is the month of Uncharted One, and then March will be the month of Uncharted Three. Um, I, I will never be covering the Lost Legacy because I loathe it. I hate it. Um, I just hate it. I hate how they changed it so much. Um, and the only reason I covered Uncharted 4 was because um, I didn't really know what it was about, and I just got my PlayStation 4 Pro, and I was quite excited to play it. But um, I have um, I have a deep aversion to playing it. I really, um, I really hate it. Absolutely, just despise it. Um, I will I will be selecting the pirate skin for the second game too. I don't know if he's in the third game. So if he's not in the third game, I might put on the Terminator suit. I'm not sure, but um, I'm not sure. I'll just have to see. I'll have to see what it is. Um, huh. Oh, this part I died on. I I always die somewhere. But um, there are some grievances in this game that I have. Um, some of them aren't necessary to talk about right now because we're not actually doing the combat so um, maybe in the next chapter I'm going to talk about them a little bit because in this chapter it's just exploration running around um, and things like that and I, I believe we're almost out of here too 
And if you're curious about how I found all the treasures, um, if you do a search on Google and you just type in Uncharted 1 All Chart, um, if you just type in, I, I typed in Uncharted 1 All Treasures, and it, it put me over to the PlayStation 4 um, Trophies channel run by someone named Brian, and he's got some just terrific guides. Um, I was um, I was watching it a while back to find the treasures. Um, uh, I'm not really sure why. I, I guess it was just because I was going through the game and I wanted to get the trophies. I, I'm not a trophy hound. I don't. I think it's some a lot of the times pointless to get the trophies. Um, seems like a big waste of time just to get some virtual items that you know. I, I don't. Um, I don't do any social networking on the PlayStation 4. I I don't have friends. You know. I, I don't play online. Um, there's no point to have it. You know, I just as soon use Twitter. I like Twitter quite a bit. Um, I I um I don't use Facebook. Um, I I don't use Google Plus. So the best way to contact me is on Twitter or on YouTube comments. So um, looks like that's it for chapter two. It was entitled "The Search for El Dorado." If I didn't mention it, and um and it looks like we're finished with it, and we're going to be going into chapter three. So I want you guys to take care of if it's if it's at all humanly possible to do so, and I will see you in the third of 22 chapters. Take care.